Um, absolutely a gritty, gritty win by our team. Um, so many things that, uh, so many moments in that game, so many things we talked about going into this football game that uh, materialized, especially uh, got to give it up for our defense, Flo and those guys. Uh, we needed them today. Uh, it was not good enough uh, to our standard on offense. And uh, moments like this are where we lean into a lot of things that our organization's built off of. Um, adversity, dealing with adversity together, no flinch, all three sides figuring out a way to come together and win a football game. Um, what I told our team is there's going to be days like this, and when there's days like this, uh, good football teams find a way to pick each other up against you know, a future Hall of Fame quarterback and you know, tough circumstances, kind of a sloppy day um, all the way around with a little spit and rain and all those things. There's a thousand excuses out there. Our team didn't look for any of them. Uh, they just kept playing. Will Reichert was phenomenal for us. When we needed three, he got it. Uh, and like I said, our defense um, just, just lights out from a standpoint of uh, picking up our team when we needed them. Uh, we'll go into the bye 5-0. Five, oh. uh, five incredibly difficult challenges so far to start this season, um, including wrapping it up with, with a trip uh, that we very much look forward to coming uh, to London. It's been a phenomenal trip. I want to thank everybody um, that took care of us at our hotel, the NFL, uh, putting on a great trip for us, and, and, and all, obviously all the folks with the Vikings um, that plan this thing year round. There's a lot of people that uh, their names can't be mentioned right now, but I just wanted to personally thank um, all of them for helping make this trip go. We'll go into our bye, uh, get healthy at a couple spots, and uh, hopefully come out uh, with, uh, with the momentum that a 5-0 team should. But tons of challenges out in front of this team, and I can't wait to attack them with my guys. Just uh, injury updates on a couple guys. Um, Aaron Jones did have um, a right hip and not return. Um, he'll be evaluated. Um, we'll, uh, I'll keep you guys posted from a standpoint of what that looks like, but uh, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that hopefully will be short term. And then a Caleb Evans did have a uh, left hip flexor uh, and did not return. Um, but um, with that, I'll open it up to questions. Uh, in the third quarter, uh, up two scores and then up one score, there were a lot of deep, aggressive shots that didn't really work out. How do you mediate being aggressive in those situations where you want to kind of put the game away versus staying in control so they don't have opportunities? Yeah, we want to stay aggressive. I think that's one of the things that have helped us this year as a team. Uh, we had some opportunities. Uh, sometimes you're not going to hit them. Sometimes there's going to be some things that maybe happen um, from an all-11 standpoint that disrupt the the ability of a play to be successful. Uh, there's going to be a thousand things. Uh, I didn't think particularly um, offensively our execution was up to our standard. Way too many pre-snap penalties. Um, way too many things that um, we really talked about, and, and I, it starts with me uh, as the play caller, and I got to make sure um, that I find a way uh, to continue chasing improvement because um, there were some things offensively that um, you know just can't happen um, in the big scheme of 17 games over a season. Uh, proud of our team for how we battled, but there was certainly some things there, probably some plays to be had, some plays I'd love to have back as a play caller standpoint, um, and then just the effectiveness as the day gone, went on. Um, not to our standard, but like I said, uh, being 5-0, and our offense has had a lot to do with that, um, but there's going to be some days where we've got to figure it out and we need to do a better job at that, and that starts with me. Coach, you know what this is? I uh, believe that's a football, Brandon. <laughs> Former <laughs> teammate of mine. Love this guy right here. Uh, this is the football you threw to me before the game. So the game ball goes to Coach. Back to oh, the man, thank you. <laughs> thank you, brother. And, and, and luckily, you remembered from our, our short stint with the Dolphins together. I should say my short stint. Um, there we go. I knew that was coming, man. I knew that was coming. But it does mean a lot to see you, man. You are a great teammate and, uh, you know, unbelievable football player. And I know, uh, you know, many, many people besides just me think that. So I'm incredible honored to get that from you, brother, and I really appreciate it. What that represents for me um, is us athletes transitioning. Yeah. A lot of us struggle. And the ones that figure out and do it right. So you're an example for a lot of us. Super proud of you. You got this team rolling. Who would have thought you guys would be sitting here five and zero with all the controversy or just the turmoil, right? So great job, coach. Yeah, I love my team, man. I love every single player, coach. Um, you know, I know that uh, we've got something good going, and the record, the results, 
phenomenal. Uh, hopefully, people are excited about this team. But what, what it all starts with is what's in that locker room, as you know. And uh, the makeup of a bunch of smart, tough guys that love football. They love playing together. They love working together. Um, and they're very much looking forward to chasing improvement, which is what you need to do in an NFL season from, as you know, from all the great teams you were on. So that's what we're going to do. Um, but thank you once again, brother. Really appreciate it, man. Hey, Coach, on Friday, I spoke to you about why you guys continue to find ways to win, especially here in the UK. <laughs> You've touched on that. Brandon has touched on that. You're five and over. You're still undefeated in the UK going into your bye. Yep. So what kind of message do you now relay to your team going into that bye at five and over and still undefeated? Yeah, it, this has been this has been uh, you know we played some really good football teams and we and and we've found a way to win five games. Um, we'll get a chance to rest up, recover, get home, and uh, hopefully uh, you know have our, our our ability to hit the ground running coming out of the bye. Um, but my message is going to be very simple. You know, not a whole lot of fo folks thought uh, this team would certainly be where we are right now at the bye. Um, so that's an you know that's a it's an easy thing for me as a coach to. Uh, remind our guys of what got us here, which has just been work, total elimination, and you know, almost an ignorance to the noise, confidence in what we are as a football team, and, and just doing the little things. And there's a lot of little things that we're going to have to get better at. And like I said, it starts with me, um, my coaching staff. Uh, I feel incredibly blessed and fortunate to have the guys coaching with me that I do. And I absolutely love my players. I love this team. I love coming to work every day. Uh, these guys are making it uh, a joy uh, to, to get to do what I do. Um, very fortunate to do that. Um, but there's just something about this group uh, that they believe in each other. They believe we're going to find a way um, to get it done and come in this locker room and, and, and enjoy another one. But it was just about going 1-0 and today. It sounds incredibly cliche. I get that. Uh, but when you're traveling as far as we traveled, and there's a lot that goes into it. We've played some physical, physical games over this first kind of five-week sprint to this bye. Um, I'm very, very proud uh, of our guys. Coach, um, obviously one of the marquee matchups in this game was Justin Jefferson versus Sos Garner. Yep. How did you manage balancing giving the ball to one of your best players yeah. against not throwing towards one of the best corners in the league direction. Yeah, I mean, that was, I, I thought those guys, you know, we knew coming in the game it would be incredibly tight coverage. Uh, you know, both uh, Sauce and, and, and Reed are two of the best corners in the league. I know that uh, Robert and his staff feel that way about those guys. So we knew there'd be some ops, but at the same time, I thought uh, it was a battle back and forth all day long. There was some tight coverage where they got the best of us. Um, there were some plays where, where Jets and Jordan were able to get loose and um, I did think, you know, uh, as, as much of a struggle as it felt at times there in the second half offensively, I was really proud of the way we went down there and got those three points. That really kind of, uh, there's been some of that in this five game run here where um, the momentum, the energy in the stadium, the adversity that's kind of hit, and Sam Darnold finding Justin on that big hit to start the drive, um, and then Johnny Munt later on, and would have loved to finish that drive with a touchdown. Um, but we ensured three points and made sure that they had to score a touchdown to beat us. And then that's where the complimentary football, I thought, uh, special teams, although we had you know a few penalties that were pretty critical, uh, field position-wise to battle back and get a couple down in there inside the 10, Ryan Wright. Um, with, the, with that unit down in the football. And then, like I said, Will Reichert. Um, so there's going to be days like this. That's what the, our game is all about. Um, and I'm just proud of the way our guys battled. And not one time did I feel any sort of um, tearing at the seams uh, with the adversity as we dealt with it. And that's a mark of a good football team that hopefully will chase improvement across the board. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to doing that with my guys. That's the word. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, my question is, um, for the last game and tonight, you had an amazing uh, first half, but in the second half, the opponents did uh, the right adjustments, and you had uh, more struggles yeah. for the second half. Um, so, uh, how are you going to manage it for the next uh, game? Yeah, that's a it's a great question because that ultimately, you know, was why the game was so close. Uh, I think we won the turnover battle by one, but I think when you look at our penalties. And you look at 
uh, just, you know, from a standpoint of just effectiveness of offensive football, um, not a lot of, you know, decent hits in the run game kind of after, you know, a little bit there. And then we did have some penalties, eliminate some yards. And then it just felt like we were backed up uh, kind of against ourselves a little bit in the second half. Uh, had some plays uh, that uh, coverage kind of dictated. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe the ball uh, had a chance to be completed, but either pressure or uh, just missing a throw here and there. Um, Sam's been lights out. Uh, my confidence level, I think, was on full display, no matter what kind of day it's been, um, to allow Sam to push us down the field right there with some big, big time throws um, at the quarterback position. So. Like I said, starts with me. We got to improve and, and try to avoid. Uh, even though we stayed aggressive with some calls, uh, the execution wasn't um, really, uh, really where we needed to be to try to put that football game away um, when we had that lead. I want to talk about your confidence and aggressiveness to push the ball downfield. Is there ever a point where it's not working? You say I need to back off that and try something different. Yeah. Well, the the thing was, I mean, the the coverage was pretty tight. You know, they were taking away uh, and they were getting up on us a little bit and kind of taking away some of the quicker throws. Um, so trying to you know live in the world where we can maybe use that against them and get the ball downfield. Uh, you know, I thought it was incredibly competitive. Two, two or three really good wide receivers going against some good coverage players, um, and and we took some shots and, and what happens is when those are incomplete um, a lot of times you're either falling you're falling into second and long or into a third and long and then you throw in a couple pre-snap penalties and it's going to be some tough sledding uh, so player two away from maybe looking differently and that's what the NFL is all about but uh, we'll go back and look at it and make sure you know like I said I you know there's some definite play calls uh, that uh, maybe we can package differently, maybe we can build to give our players more clarity, um, how, how I kind of put it together with the offensive staff. Great time to do it over that bye week and, and kind of hit the refresh button and, and come back ready to roll. So last, one to, Alex, so last one, to, one to Alec up front. After the Stefan pick, it looked like you kind of hugged Flo. I yeah. just wonder, what did you say to him? I just love doing football with him. You know, it's simple as that. Um, there's a reason why um, I've always – Envision getting to do football with Brian Flores because of his mentality as a play caller, uh, how him and his staff are coaching that group. Um, sometimes, you know, you, you, you do some things as a head coach and offensive play caller knowing maybe we can take a shot here because I know, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to hit a lot of them over the course of the year. But I also know I have ultimate trust in our defense and, and for Gilly. Uh, that's why we went and got Gilly to put a, to put a game away, tight coverage like that, and makes a hell of a catch there. So we're we're kneeling it out for win number five. Um, but yeah, I just I, I've got so much respect for Flo. Um, he is leading that defense at at a world class level. Um, <coughs> excuse me, and, and really impacting our organization um, with how we play and how we win, um, and just. You know, that was what that moment was. You're always one for the moments, man. I love, Thanks, love it, Alex. Thank you. Congrats, Coach. Thank you, guys.